I think I hear my husband. <laughs> Wasn't going to do this until he came back, but I figured I would do a little bit. So, hello everyone. Um, I'm in our camper. Um, this is Cedar Creek Homestead Farm. I'm, we're not sure yet. <laughs> um, and one of my kids are yelling immediately. So, I figured I would take you on a little tour of our new camper. This is the outside. We are going to go check out the inside. And again, one of my kids are freaking out inside. Sorry. They fight a lot. Fun age. Alrighty. <laughs> We're inside. Um, so, this is our bedroom. We found this on Marketplace. Oh, and well, I was recording, but my husband called me. Um, he's actually getting a video of our tractors right now, um, and then he'll be back in a minute, and we will be recording together. Um, so, as you can see, <laughs> the slide out needs some work. We found this on Marketplace the other day. Um, it was listed for fifteen hundred. We talked them down to twelve. This needs work. Um, everything else works. It's nice. We need some cushions here. <laughs> everything else is in decent shape, though. I mean, the oven, the stove, the microwave, the fridge, everything works. Um, the only little problem we have is we were actually going to be taking this out to Maine, uh, yesterday. Um, but it all depended on if we could find a truck that would tow it. Um, we couldn't find anything that would tow it. <laughs> so, um, good thing because honestly, we actually were digging more into this and we hooked up the water and it turns out that there is a leak somewhere. We're not sure if it's a pipe or if it's the water tank. So, um, this gives us a little bit more time, um, before we take it out there to work on the slide out and work on the water problem. But other than that, like I said, everything else works. It's great. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I don't want to get into too much because when TJ gets back, we will sit down and we will talk to you more about everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to give a little tour here. Um, this is our living room and our kitchen. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we have more cabinet space here than in our house. That's sad. <laughs> but, um... We're going to go to the bathroom. There's really not a whole lot to see, but it's cute. There's so much storage space, really. There is. I mean, nice cabinets everywhere. I'm sure you guys know how it is with a camper. Um, but yeah, uh, and then we've got storage underneath the seats here. Oh, I can't get the door closed again. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean... We can open this. We've got all that under there and same on the other side. Um, and our bed. Obviously, our bed has storage underneath. Um, not sure how to pick this up. And I just messed up the bed. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We've got closets. I had started putting some clothes in there because we were planning on leaving yesterday. Um, and then everything fell through. Um, so, I guess I didn't need to do that, but oh well, we did it. Um, it's ever, it's clean and everything. We were all ready to go. I'm a little bummed, I'm not gonna lie. But everything happens for a reason, so we will be heading out later today to go back. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so TJ and I will sit down and give more details in a little bit. So, we'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so since I came back from recording in the camper, um, TJ actually sent me some videos of um, the tractors, so I'm going to add those in now. So, as far as building our homestead from scratch, we're going to need equipment. We got a pretty good deal on a couple of tractors. We got a 70s International 300. Needs a little work, but the price was right, and I'm a mechanic, so it's nothing I can't handle. Needs some 
hydraulic hoses are pretty rotted, but if everybody's got any international or old Ford parts, let us, let us know. Thanks. Here's the other tractor. It's a 55 Ford E01. Started working on this one yesterday. It's in my neighbor's house. He's doing the work, some of the work for me. It's a little rough, but as long as it does what it's supposed to do, you can always make it prettier later. I got a front end loader for it that's over with the backhoe. Just haven't put it on yet. Make it easier to work on it. <laughs> 